Plagiarism is a big issue for all educational institutions and it's something that has garnered a lot of attention in the media so I'd like to spend some time explaining what it is. This is a definition of plagiarism that I have taken from the Merriam-Webster online dictionary and what I like about this definition is the fact that it covers the three major aspects of plagiarism. To steal and pass off the ideas or words of another as one's own. So when a student pays a friend to write an essay for them, that's plagiarism. Use another's production without crediting the source. When a student cuts and pastes things from the internet and doesn't tell you where on the internet he's taken it from, that's plagiarism. And finally, present as new an original an idea or product derived from an existing source. So when someone comes up to you and says they've invented a portable phone with a touch screen that looks almost suspiciously like the iPhone, you can probably guess that they've plagiarized. Now, in academic research and business environments, we do, on a regular and frequent basis, take ideas from other people and build on them. There is nothing wrong with that and it's perfectly acceptable so long as, as proper attribution is made. And what I mean by attribution is that the reference or source of the work is clearly identified. If this, is, if this isn't the case, then plagiarism is effectively a form of intellectual theft, regardless of whether there was any intention to steal. Now, from a legal perspective, if someone creates a piece of original music or any kind of work, they can consider that their intellectual property, protected by the appropriate copyright laws. And the same applies here. Ideas that belong to other people are their intellectual property and so has to be properly attributed if used by another person.